leaving. Don't worry, they're gonna call the cops. You don't want to go to the fucking tombs or wherever you go here. <laughs> Wasn't gonna do. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you guys gotta keep the camera on that. I'm trying to become a little. I can't do the bit. I want to watch too. <laughs> of your fan base. Like, I'm working on getting rid of fucking MAGA racist fucks, but then you know, oh, it's, it, it's people that just don't know how to drink. And there's also, I do have a large element of mentally ill people. <laughs> I, 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 you have to, like, be gentle with that, but I don't necessarily know how to spot that versus the I just got too hammered and tweeted you a picture of me drinking Negronis at 11 in the morning. Get ready for the stand up show! Oh. You're not going to be in any condition nine hours later. Indian comedian that, that tweeted me today. We're, are you alone? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say, you asked him, hey, can I meet you afterwards? Last night, people were like, you are, you didn't do a meet and greet. Well, when I have to have people violently ejected, I don't wanna hang around on the sidewalk. <laughs> but you, if you wanna sit here for the closing bit, I gotta see the front. Yeah. She talks about people and how people are different than they used to be. You know, when we were just children growing up, right before the Great Depression, in this neighborhood, people were nice. This was the community back then. We didn't have the problems we have now because this was the community and people talked to one another. They'd go, hello, Mr. Johnson, and he'd tip his hat and say, nice day, have you seen the mailman? And I'd say, no, I was just going to pick up Aunt Frances from the 345 stage from Oklahoma City. <laughs> and people were nice and it was a community and now people are just all self-centered and self then they just look at it. Shut the fuck up, why are you yelling over me? How fucking dumb are you? And people just, they bring it fucking every time, these people that are on my side. Doug, you seem to be getting to a pinnacle in this bit, so I'm gonna go da 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 over you. Next time I'm gonna bring my own fucking sound system to make sure you never get a fucking joke right. And Dan Schlissel never has a perfect recording. <laughs> live seven miles off the Mexican border in a small town in Arizona and you, you see all these Mexicans that are taking American jobs. I see them border patrols. They more Spanish there than they do in Mexico. That was, you, your heckling has been almost appropriate and well-timed up until right now. <laughs> Right now is where I was in the middle of, like, if you feel, like, the tension in my voice, you can time a heck, heckle. Like, there'll be times where I'm going, huh, 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 and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And that's a good time to blurt out some stupid shit because it'll give me a second to respond while the back of my head is trying to think of what to do next. When you do what you did like you did, that is to the comedy process what a strong poop smell is to the sexual act. <laughs> it, it doesn't ruin it completely, but it, it definitely makes you pause and take time to... But all those are... Eighteen states still have sodomy laws on the books. Texas is one of them. You guys are fucking the privacy 
in their own home. You know this story, Mom? There's two butt fuckers. There's two butt fuckers. There's two butt fuckers. I'll explain it to you. There's two butt fuckers in every butt fucking in the privacy of their own home. And there's a third butt fucker. This is the twist of the story. There's a third butt fucker up on a grassy knoll somewhere. So they couldn't even hype it as terrorist-related butt-fucking if they get the public all jumping on the sheep wagon, right? If you consider the overpopulation in this world, you consider the natural resources that we're pissing away, like draft beer at a crack party, rolling blackouts, gas is $5 a gallon, polluting water. If anybody wants to terrorist for that shit, it's just as crazy as that motherfucker right there. Yeah. Yeah. How does that feel? Like you're really a bad audience member. Like, like, do you want to do you want to come up here on stage and hang out? Because you suck over there. I'd love to see you suck up here for a while. What do you want? I know. I know you think you're my friend, but yelling "you suck" at my friends is not gonna like endear you to me. Oh, uh, you're gonna send them up like that? No, no, no. That, that, yeah, no. That, you're so desperate for attention. Just stay there. No, do the walk of shame back. No, don't, don't come up. Don't. Six foot three repels five foot two so quickly. <laughs> and how one little challenge will bring Napoleon right back to the stage. Uh, that's what I'm all about, dude. That's why I do this for a living. I'm a fucking short, runny fuck like you. And I know you've done a lot of re years in wrestling. You didn't cauliflower your ears so well, but see, you're short. I know, I know, I know you're shorter than me, and you've had all these years of fucking being pulled out. But I'm gonna do this. I am a short man, but at the same time. I can't handle you ripping on me. I know, but I'm saying this is my Napoleon place, man. Rip on me all you can. Rip on you all you can. No, I'll throw you out. I don't. You're not. You're not interesting, dude. You're a man with Dane Cook hair and a sweater. There's nothing to fucking make fun of you about. If you are interesting in the least, you can pick something apart to go. Look at how this man is unique. Like if you're a crazy fucking hair look, like, this is fucking, the, the fucking the, the Eric the Midget from Howard Stern Show looking like is here. He has something, now you can rip on him all night, but I wouldn't because it's too fun. You, there's nothing, you're a blank fucking page. You're a fucking envelope. How are you gonna say that without knowing me though? Uh, you know that old 
old saying, you can't judge a book by its cover? A lot deeper than you are ripping on me right now. I guarantee you. Show us. and then sue you for, bring your parents and trick down there. You know, you gotta go now. I'll talk to you after the show. I, I know, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, no, no, you're, it's not that big of a deal. No, you're okay. No, go, go, just go. Just go. I blame, I blame a lot of you guys up there, too. You do this to him a lot. Go do it, man. Go do it. Yeah, that doesn't make you enter. It makes you nothing different. You're, I do a lot of things when I'm drunk, too. It doesn't make you special or different. Yeah, you, you stood on stage, they threw ice at you. Everybody hates you and they wish you'd leave. They don't even like the part. They're agreeing. It's not, you're not making the show better. That applause is not because of you. You're not... You're, 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 they're agreeing with me that... I know, I know. I, I did the wrong, wrong thing. It was my fault. All right, I t uh, you're right. I told you to come up and you came up. Now I'm telling you to sit in the car. All right, then it's your fault. We need more regulation on the internet. Government should be more involved because the child pornography is rampant on the internet. They just said it on the news. Child pornography, it's rampant on the internet. Have you ever seen it? You ever seen some child pornography on the internet? Fucking pedo. Yes, that's right. Uh-oh. Really? Thank God. Fucking pedo. I'll defend child pornography. How about that? What's wrong with seeing some child pornography? I was going to do this bit next, but... I, I don't want you to miss it. Go out and smoke a cigarette. Yeah, go smoke a cigarette. We're gonna have to talk to you about the rules. And the rules. Hey, touch dog. No, it's not about it. It's just it, it's not gonna get better. That's the thing. When you have empathy, because I'm a fucking drunk, but and you try to you go, hey, I'll try to work with you and be friendly about it, but but you know it's not gonna get better. You've never been that drunk and went, oh. Someone scolded me. I'll be <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it. You, all, all three of us. No, no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> <laughs> Don't let him leave with no show at all. <laughs> show him a DVD and tell him he was there. <laughs> all right. Obstructed view. Would you like to move up front? Oh, 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 oh. So I'm on the fucking internet. I'm trying to fucking jack quick. Gone from, gone from acting like a just, yeah, go walk around and fucking jack off and I get the Fox News in the background and I'm fucking janking off and I get to the point where I can fucking dump really quick and you know the point you get to and they go 
In Baltimore, three children were found dead, one decapitated, two were partially beheaded, and I couldn't stop. <laughs> this is absolutely true. And I thought, I'm going to come to dead children. <laughs> and I got blue mode on the USA Today that you almost yanked out of the wastebasket, Kilstein. You go, it was in the USA Today. So you go, not the wastebasket, the new one's right here. <laughs> true story. Mike B. Stefano is so funny that if it were him on Fox News saying three children were decapitated, I would have laughed when I came. That's how funny Mike B. Stefano is. It's a true story. Did you plan it? It sucked? That's a true story. Oh, this is not funny? Okay, let's talk about it all night until you leave. Uh, when? Right now. Anyone who laughs at it is an asshole. Did you know those kids? It's gonna get good. Mike, settle it. Bring out the cooler. It's not fucking funny. It's not funny. You know what? Eventually, all of you are gonna say something you don't like. When I go on stage, it's like I'm leading you into battle. You're not all going to be here at the end. <laughs> that was the point that it wasn't funny. That's why it's funny. It's not funny. You know, I try to talk over this, but this is way more entertaining than anything I could say. No one ever leaves a street fight to watch a band. Maybe that guy was 
really friends, and that's how he overcame the grief by running out to the fucking chuckle factory. <laughs> They sell the head back up for the weight. I'm really sorry. He started this. I was just telling a true story. I wouldn't have actually just made fun of the actual crime, but I actually did come when you can't stop. That's a physical impossibility. And that was the joke. That it was a true story. So much fucking hate in my soul. I really want to hear you. Do you know what? I really need this right now. I fucking need this. What is my new material? Like newer than ISIS beheadings? No. You. scared with the microphone. You're, you're, you're happy to yell at me, so tell me, what is my new material? I'm about six minutes into a show, desperate for anything new like ISIS or beheading. I'm, I'm, no, I want to fucking know what you have to say, you British cunt. This is why I like of money and I loathe it because there's always one guy like you that feeds into a comic's fear. I'm afraid of doing the shit that I did last night tonight for the guy who shows up two nights in a row that thinks this is all off the top of your head that you put a little fucking work into this. Oh, he's just a crazy Do I remember like Charlie Brooker? Yes, I do that show every fucking year. I do six episodes. And guess what? I recycle material on it. Because nobody that watches that show comes to my live show, and I don't live in Britain. Hey! Why are you asking me what's my new material? Because you're an idiot. What you do, what you do, and that's it's, it's a very cunty British thing. Don't worry, I need to get this out of my system. This is actually, please, this is giving me adrenaline. I know it's a pointless five minutes for you. It's giving me adrenaline. Giving me actual Why I'm scared of British audiences is because they know that they they, they know how to fuck with. They're they're, they're as miserable as me. <laughs> And they know, like, they just want to fuck with you, and they, they think it's funny to ruin your set. So, But you have nothing to back this up with. Like, if you had said this when I get to the other material that I might have did last year, <laughs> yeah, then it would have bothered me. But now I know you're just a cunt trying to fuck with me, and your time is up. Oh yeah, but I know you're a big fucking rugby town. And then, back, well, you're from Bristol. I know you had to take a train, and now you're looking at your world. I heard the class of people wanted to take my train. <laughs> the point is, ah, oh, shut up, you're as old as me. No one cares what you have to say either. <laughs> Don't poke him in the eye. He's, a, he's not an asshole. He just doesn't know he's talking that loud. Don't worry. I've, I, 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 I'm with you, sir. I'm a yank. Shush. This is amusing to me. This is my ghost of Christmas future. <laughs> a 
Hulk. I don't even know what I was talking about. I was really into that guy. <laughs> I was like, every, every fucking pedophile that is <laughs> a children's show over here. Reminds me of I don't know them. I just have them in my celebrity death pool. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't have a man your age removed, and we're on a fucking roll. I know I've fired you up now, and there, I know the kind of drunk you are, and you're not going to stop. But I'm going to beg you to just stop and let me get through this, because I love you. <laughs> A lot of times people just don't know the rules and then she felt strongly about Syria and they had to shut her down. <laughs> I envy. Oh wow. Wow. You you forgot your jacket. Now you're gonna have to make the walk of shame for your jacket. <laughs> I love I love when people get offended for absolutely nothing. Like you just sat through rape and abortion and child molesting and fist fucking. But Syria, that's where it all falls apart. Unbelievable. Uh. So that's what I miss about comedy clubs, is the people who just show up not having any idea who you are. <laughs> like you play wherever, and I play rock and roll clubs. And they, 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 what's that? Google and YouTube. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of put a little effort into your Saturday. <laughs> you just throw a dart at the weekly. Hey, honey, what do we have a coupon for? <laughs> <laughs> Drive safe. <laughs> Was it the there you go? Yeah. If you sit there you have to pay their tab. <laughs> uh, what's that? Oh yeah, drink their fucking beer too. Oh, yeah. Hey, give me a sip. Give me a sip. Just... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Please always do that when you're right in the front. Always Whoa. Yeah. Like that in the middle of a bit. It's like having a rubber band just like this. You like, too. Trying not to fucking look at it. You too. You too. Yes. Yeah. You know what? You'll be the millionth guy to have this on YouTube. Yeah. Quality product. Uh, every CD and DVD, yeah. please burn it, pass it around. Yeah. Oh. YouTube it. Yeah. Because it's quality. It's not a drunk guy in a bandana that can yeah. barely follow me. Oh. 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 It's you at some point in your fucking blackout. You ain't got a fucking camera. You laugh like this. You're fucking drunk. fucking you. Just saying. You should be offended by that? No, I said you weren't easy to fuck. Which you should be offended by, because you should, fucking should be something that comes easy. Fucking is not something you should build your life around.
Easier than giving you the disease by fucking you. Is he, see, do you do what? So, you know what? Go ahead, get it out of your system, because you only have about six years of cute to get away with this. And then, and then. No, really. Well, no, it's just, it's, it's just that pretty women have some sense of, you know, they have a. You're, you're so offended. Like, now I called you pretty. I told you it would be too hard to fuck you. Now I called you pretty. But it, that's going to run out. And you're going to have what I call, you're going to be new ugly. When you're like, you're going to hit 36. And you're not going to know how to deal with ugly like the rest of us who've been ugly our whole life. And then all of a sudden, you're going to walk into a show and you're going to try this shit. And they're going to go, get that pig out of here. And they won't even give you. And you're going to go, what? just what happens when you age. Okay, all right. All right. Just, just, the audience is turning on you. What? Oh, oh Bill said it, and he said it better. Oh, eat it, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what, what, what did he say? Wait. Huh? Wait to the guy. Yeah, Bill, he, he said it, he said it better. I fucking, like, I want to, I, like, no, no, I, I, I try to find a way to hate Hicks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I try to find an argument to hate him just to... <laughs> you can't. You can't. But you can't. Even people are saying it nice. They go, oh, you like Bill Hicks. I'm like, what? He was uh, sober, deliberate, calm. He knew what he... And he was smart. <laughs> I was wondering how long before this fucking whirlwind black hole of fucking ego would sit the fuck down while I'm saying a good friend of mine died of brain cancer. I'll never see her become ugly and still try to flaunt. Like, remember I used to walk through the green room and no one would question me. I talk in the front row, remember? I know they're down here now, and I know I'm running in the eyes like I just dang on a clock. And I'm all wrinkled and fetch face. Yeah, remember? And then they're just they're not just giving them a quiet down. They're just Launching her into the fucking dumpster in the back alley. It makes fun! Always makes fun! Kimball! Good friend of mine! And a comedy, she'd come to all of our shows. When we were too fucked up to sell merch, she'd sell it for us. She'd come down there. Sit the fuck down! I will not bit, I will have you thrown out, and then I'll make the crowd wait while they throw you out.
than Detroit? Hey, hey, hey. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, 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 hey guys. smoke on stage because it, it's part of a theatrical production, which is a loophole in every smoking law. And you don't have an act. Maybe you should find someone to write you a play about smoking. I got a question. Why is it that you can stand up and yell out at people in the middle of a show? No one else can. I just want to say this about Cynthia. Yeah. I know it wasn't my toast, but I didn't like the toast that was just given. To hey, so I told my girlfriend I wanted to fuck her between the tits. She said, how are you going to make that feel good for me? And I said, right before I come, I'll stop punching you in the face. You want jokes? I have fucking jokes. I'm so tired of fucking comedy. My dad used to wash out my mouth with soap, but that was just to get rid of any traces of his DNA. <laughs> you know how they clean you up for those custody battles, like they're gonna get a security deposit back. That's a joke. I had a girl say this to me, she goes, you know, if God intended women to suck dick, he'd have made cum taste like chocolate. I said, yeah, but he had to make it taste like bleach, so you'd remember to do the laundry. That's a joke. I'm fucking boring. You know the weird thing about child pornography? I mean, aside from the lack of credits at the end. No ego on that side of Hollywood, is there? Who did the editing on this film? It's seamless. I'd love to use them on my independent documentary I'd make it, but no, not even a nom de plume. Some people are in it just for the art. I don't care about fame. If there's child pornography, there has to be child pornography stars. Child porn stars. And they really don't want to be recognized in public. Big wide brimmed hat and sunglasses. Don't I know you? I know you from somewhere, don't I? No, no. Where did you go to high school? Please leave me alone. Wait, were you in a movie or something? I only did one movie. Oh, now I know it. It wasn't until you started crying. I remember now. What, you want smug? You want fucking nothing. You want nothing. There's not enough violence from this side of the room. What's going on? Is that a little... Not enough animosity? What is that, the fucking... Are you the Swiss? What the fucking...
the ugly people. We don't fucking get together. We don't rally. We have no lobbies. We don't even nod at each other at the mall. I can't hear you. Write it down and pass it up on a piece of paper, and I'll put them in a stack over there. Ugly people. You can't even point out someone else that's ugly to strike up conversation at an airport bar. Oh, you're fucking ugly. I'm ugly too. This is a rough town to be ugly in, man. I mean, there is no Al Sharpton spokesperson for the ugly. Because ugly is not a minority. We're a majority and we still suck high and tick. Get the last fucking job a qualified beautiful person versus you trying to get a drink at the pub. They fuck, you're overlooked. Right here on this very island that I pretend only exists in my imagination to punish me for fucking sins I've committed. I don't believe you're really here. Somewhere on this island earlier this year, they uh, captured an ugly woman that could sing. And they, uh, they brought her into captivity. And uh, they brought her to... Uh, civilization and it was a fucking unruly mob kind of like this and they, they brought this ugly woman in shackles out onto the stage. I confuse a lot of the story with King Kong but they uh, they brought her out and uh, this ugly mob of fucking angry people and they were hurling tomatoes and fucking mocking her and uh, I guess as a self-defense mechanism she tried to sing and, uh, and she could say <laughs> What kind of fucking generation tries to glass a comet with a fucking plastic half-empty bottle of water? That, my friends, is embarrassing. <laughs> How are you? Don't worry, you'll be ugly soon enough. should have said, hey, honey, why don't you wait till you're smart enough to make this decision? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I support the troops. Listen to me. I support the troops 
on an individual basis, and everyone's in there for a different reason. If I met your son, and he's a cool troop, and he's not a douchebag at the end of the night, just wants to fight because he didn't understand something that someone yelled and just can't... A lot of troops are shitheads. I don't know your son. We'll talk after the show, and maybe you can give me more insight. Some troops are shitheads. Let's get that out of the way. If I meet your son, he's cool. I'll put his name on the yellow ribbon, fucking... Uh, uh, the PFC fucking Juan Suarez or whatever I'm assuming uh, whatever I, if he's cool I'll support him no matter what he does he can go fucking AWOL but and he's breathing depleted uranium <laughs> and he's breathing depleted uranium do you see this is the problem with trying to communicate Hey, let me finish my... All right. All right. Let's get back to the troops, all right? Let, let me... T Alex, let me handle this. Come on now. I'll... Here. I don't, I don't even know what the fights are breaking up the audience. I would deal with each and every one on it. But you're, doing, you're having little private discussion groups. The point is, yeah, some troops join the military because they got fucked. This is the deal. I like war. War is good because it clears out some assholes. Some troops are assholes. Would you agree, sir? True. Yes. I'm in Colleen, Texas. I'm working at fucking Ernie's Pub in 1994, and I come out of the fucking restroom, and this is just one example, and I knock over some shithead troops, fucking piss warm beer, and it was an accident. And he wanted to fucking, you know how the rednecks, he, they get fucking the, Arms swinging, up, forearms forward, all simian. You, you won't fucking go, faggot. You won't fucking go. I did not support that troop during the war, man. I hope he's not stationed with your son, because that guy's a fucking asshole. He's not fighting for your freedom. He's fighting because he's a psychopath that can't wait to kill people. And that's good. If that's your instinct, your instinct is your only true God. Follow it and go kill people. That's why I'm pro-war. As long as there's no draft. As long as it's voluntary. They're not yanking kids out of the inner city and making them fight a war. What choice do they have? What choice? Oh, oh, they fucking join the military because they need college money. You know what? There's other ways to get college money. If you're, no, that that kid's an idiot, and college wasn't gonna help. You, you can suck a dick. You can steal some car radios, rob a pallet of shit off that fucking fork truck at Home Depot, sell it out of a van on a highway off ramp. Swing around the brass pole a few times, Jessica Lynch, you'll have plenty of college money and never leave West Virginia. <laughs> Lindy England, you're doing all those fucking Abu Ghraib fucking atrocities. Lind Shut up! What? Yes! Feel, no, don't no, get it out, get it out! Yes, get angry and fucking do what? I'm not angry either. I'm having a great time. I'm saying you're angry. You're everyone's yelling at everyone. You for what? For what? Because you have opinions. What? Can you give me a go, go ahead. Hang on. Rebuttal. Uh, and this is it. Then I'm gonna have to go on with the show. So yes! I... yeah. okay. Go ahead. Quick. 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 Shh. It was racist? No, she's Mexican. Suarez is a regular last name. Usually I say Johnson if it's a white guy. I'm implying. No, I was talking about her son, which would be Mexican, so I used a, a Mexican last name. Is that racist? No, that's just... Uh, not everyone can be a brilliant stand-up comic. I know, but... Ma'am, you're anti-comic. Please sit down. Please take your seat. We're asking nicely. Not everybody can be a brilliant stand-up comic, including yourself, so... This isn't Crossfire! <laughs> but, uh, this is the problem. Everyone wants to be angry about shit. This country is... Uh, that's why people log on to CNN.com and they have fucking... Oh, I'll tell you what my opinion is. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You can't 
heckle unless you're in the first four rows, because I can't see you. It's chicken shit. I'm from Canada, too. Now. because you've never done shit for yourself. Yes, that's why anyone is proud to be from any country, not just America, any country in the fucking world. You take pride the same way you take pride in Dale Earnhardt winning a race. You're not a fan of Dale fucking Earnhardt. You're a fan of someone else who will take a risk so you can sit your fat faggot ass on a couch and have some slow drip morphine injection of adrenaline so you don't have to do anything. You do nothing. You get up, you do what you're told, you put on your fat fucking name tag, and you do a girl. I'm going to yeah, I'm going to fuck up your ass. Yeah. That fucking manager's going to tell me to fucking shine the... What? It's so sad, and it's unnecessary. This is it? All the shit swirls around in a small circle at the bottom. You have a shit job, so you pay your $15 to bust on my shit job. All the shit swirls around in a circle, and all the people responsible for making us all miserable aren't here to take it. I'm gonna get into my shit later on. I got Travis Lipsky coming up. Why are you trying to find pretty girls in appropriate seat and not punching those cocksuckers in the face? I'm just asking. Come on, man, we're just having time, trying to have fun. Remember? If you were funny, you wouldn't be up there right now. Hey, bring it over here. Come on, man, I'm drunk friendly. Right along.